question two deals with quantitative measures of data. The demand for bottled water increases during hurricane season in Florida. The number of one gallon bottles of water sold for a random sample of nine hours in one store during hurricane season is, and then we get the numbers. Now for this question, it's important to not only calculate these values, but interpret them. On this practice test, it does not ask you to interpret them, but you never know what you'll be faced with on the actual test. First, what is the average hourly number of one gallon bottles of water sold? So to calculate the average, which is the mean, we need to sum up all the numbers. When we sum up all the numbers, we get 655. Next, we need to divide by the sample size, which is 9. Dividing by 9 will get us 72.78. So to interpret this value, we would say, on average, there were 72.78 one-gallon bottles of water sold hourly at this particular store. Next, we need to calculate the median. And to calculate the median, we need to find the middle number. Now with a small data set like this, the easiest thing to do is to put the numbers in order. With nine numbers, there actually is a middle number. You'll notice the fifth number has four numbers above it and four numbers below it. You can also calculate the position of the median by taking the sample size of nine, adding one to it, and dividing by two. This formula just gets you the position of the median when the numbers are put in order. If we had had eight numbers, there would be no middle number, which means we would average together the fourth and the fifth number. So watch out for problems that give you an even amount of numbers where there is no exact middle number and you have to average together two numbers. You can find this once again by putting them in order and then noticing that there is no middle number. In our problem, the middle number is 74. To interpret this value, which goes above and beyond for this problem, would be that the 50th percentile for hourly one gallon bottles of water sold from this store is 74. The median is the 50th percentile. Finally, we have some jump output, which has us calculating the IQR. To calculate the IQR, the formula is simply Q3 minus Q1. Q3 is the 75th percentile, and Q1 is the 25th percentile. With this in mind, when we take 81 minus 64.5, we get 16.5. Interpreting this value would be the span of the middle 50% of one gallon bottles of water sold from this store hourly is 16.5. It's just the distance between the two numbers. Now you'll notice something interesting. The median is not directly between them. This is because the data set is not purely symmetric. The median is just a position and does not have to be directly between the 25th and 75th percentile. Make sure to know how to calculate these values and interpret them in context of the problem. You'll never know what you'll be presented with on the test, and interpreting a value is very important to business analytics.